it's story time again. I got this thing delivered. It was a really nice day in November. That's about all I did that day. It was a, it was a one day trip. So I came back Thanksgiving weekend and started in swapping out the carriages. There's just a few bolts here and there that held the mechanics down. Nothing like a good hammer. I had gone over and over about how to do this and basically decided I was overthinking things. So I just took a bunch of straps and as you'll see, picked the whole thing up with the building. One of the through bolts actually retains the set works housing there and I had to get that off and knock the whole thing out of the way. All these parts are really heavy. Even individually, they're really heavy. Uh, with a bunch of straps, I spread out all the weight, picked it up. Okay, there it goes. Comes right on out of there. Now there's a cable that makes that go back and forth and I had taken that off uh, early on. Now these are the keys to the whole thing. These metal strips actually are the reference edges for the head blocks. 
when I go to install these things, that's what I'll be most particular about. These screws were all real rotten. They just came right out. Once again, the helping hand came in handy. So I'll need to swap all these axles over. That's the next part of the project. Our little valley there, the sun sets really early. It's probably about 3.30 in the afternoon. This is the next morning. It's a little frosty, so I waited a while. And here's an example of some of the fitting to get these axles in place on the new carriage. Jim set up the uh, one of the more critical measurements, and that's the guide wheel against the carriage face. I want all these guide wheels to be the same distance from the face of the carriage. Now I need to go find a hammer and start beating on things to get these to fit. These are uh, Babbitt bearings and since the carriage rides on the axle there's no bottom half. It's just a retainer to keep the thing from falling off. And with a little wiggling around, it just sets right in place.
looks pretty good here. Now I've laid those reference strips on the carriage, but they aren't fastened down yet. I have to, once I get the head blocks on there, then I'll have to take some measurements against the blade to make sure that those strips get screwed down parallel to the blade. And actually it's a back strip. The front strip doesn't really do anything, but the back strip does everything as far as being the reference surface. Actually, before I can drop this down, I had to put a notch in the beam, that back beam, where the setworks wheel uh, drops in. It's not very big, but it provides clearance. You can kind of see it here. It got heavy, and with those Babbitt bearings, it doesn't roll all that easy. I got it about that far and gave up and adopted some other means of moving it. bunch of little things that I had to get done. Uh, at this point I had to screw down those straps, you know, do all that measuring, moving it back and forth, screwing the straps down, and then, uh, oh, the cable, 
getting the cable on there, getting it tension correctly, bunch of stuff. So it's into the next morning finishing up. This lonely world can be so cruel, but I'm happy just to share it with you. May all of our dreams come true, for I'm honored to be there for you. Hey, yeah, this lonely world can be so cruel, but I'm happy just to share. Thanks for watching. Next time, we'll see how it saws. <laughs>